We've got barbecue back here. You're all invited. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Good, all right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing today? You know, um, I'm doing okay. We're recording this one a bit early, so if there's any late breaking news this weekend, we are not aware of it. Gee, why didn't you guys talk about that? Oh, well, because we we had we have travel plans this weekend. We are recording this one early. Um, get over it. So what we're doing today um, is a season preview of sorts of sorts. Uh, this has become a tradition. We've done this a few years in a row now. Um, I think it was in a, I think it predates 2020, but was interrupted by 2020. Um, but these, these are the preseason Austin's over unders. If if you are a uh, longtime listener to the show and you've listened to our know your enemy Porsche, uh, know your enemy episodes of the podcast, then you might know of Austin's over unders. Uh, one of our longest running, longest tenured, um, I hate, I hate the word fan. I hate the word fan. We'll say member, member of the Sloopcast community. Um, member of the Sloopcast community, Austin, uh, likes to give us over-unders. Yeah, member feels better, probably. Yeah, just fan feels gross. Like I, like I'm putting myself above, uh, I don't like it. Anyway, um, long time member of the community. Um, and he, before each game gives us a list of over unders and we go through them. And we've also uh, been doing preseason over unders for a few years now. And that's what, that's what today is. Um, Austin has given us a list of nearly 40 uh, over unders to do 32. Okay. Just over 30. They're actually numbered in the, in the, in the thing. Where, 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 where is it? Um, it's 31 plus one. 31 plus one. We'll say 31 plus one. All right. Well, let's not waste any more time, Jared. Let's go ahead and get right into it then. Yeah, let's get right into it. <clears throat> and then he coughs. Uh, yes, many coughs. All right. Starting quarterback, total rushing touchdowns. Now. Over under is four and a half. Four and a half. CJ, uh, Stra is... CJ, CJ Stroud as a starter. At zero. For his, not 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 just last year. For his career as a as a starter. Did he get one as a. Yeah, remember, as a true freshman. No, I don't remember shit. Yeah, he 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 had the one as a backup against Michigan. Don't you remember that one? No, I, I don't remember shit. I don't retain memories, Kyle. I'm a big picture guy. <sighs> No, I remember. Was, was it Michigan I'm State? I, I'm messing with you. I'm messing with you. Um, okay. Kyle um, McCord, I would say, um, less mobile than CJ Stroud. Is this a fair assessment? Um, I'm gonna go under on this one. Yeah, I'm going. I'm going under as well too. I just, it just, it just doesn't seem like getting five touchdowns or or higher is is what we're going to see this year yeah i'm going under as well yeah and just so we're clear nothing it nothing, says, nothing tell nothing nothing's showing me that that we're going to see a lot of quarterback touchdowns yep and and just so we're clear it i it is the starting quarterback so just in case it's not kyle mccord it does say start it but even if it's Devin brown i don't care yeah yeah all right marvin harrison jr catches over under is 88 and a half which is a lot. Spike said over before you read it. <laughs> um, so historic recent history. Um, nobody went over 88 in 2019. Uh, 2020 doesn't count. Uh, in 2021, JSN got 95. And in 2020, Marvin Harrison got 77. 2022. Excuse me, 2022. With the, uh, you know, whatever I said is wrong. But yeah, in 2022. <laughs> so in the past three years, this has only happened 
And again, we're not counting 2020. In the last three years, this this has only been achieved once. Um, he got within 11, well, 12, technically, of this number last year. Um, it, it feels high, um, and it's not because I'm in any way discounting what Marvin Harrison Jr. is capable of, because he's capable of a lot, um, but it's a very deep wide receiving core. Uh, I, but I, I still feel the need to go over, I think. And I say that mostly because you have a young quarterback who's going to be like, there'll be moments, especially early of confusion of panic. And he's going to look, he's going to look for a safety net. Um, and that's Marvin Harrison jr. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm going to go Kyle McCord to Marvin Harrison Jr. over 88 and a half times. Or anyone go to Marvin Harrison Jr. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go under here, mainly just because I think I think this year, if the running back room stays healthy, we're gonna see, I think we're gonna see a heavy dose of more running this year. Uh not to not to say that Marvin Harrison and the rest of the wide receiver crew are going to get their receptions here, but, but man, just 88 and a half just seems like a lot here. And if you go back even further, um, nobody in 2016, nobody in 2017, in 2018, Paris Campbell had 90 receptions. So it's, it's doesn't happen often. And no. Yeah. And in those year in those years were, where they had the receivers getting over 88. They just had uh, phenomenal quarterbacks to throw to. And I just, not, not saying Kyle, Kyle McCord isn't going to be a phenomenal quarterback. It's just, by the way, that's just a high number to, to uh, achieve. He won't be all year. He'll, he'll struggle early. He'll struggle early. Like, Especially if, if the if the bar is the last quarterbacking we saw, which was CJ Stroud having a Heisman worthy year. Mm -hmm. If that's the bar we're currently used to, and it is, he's not going to be that good right away. Kyle McCord's just not going to look that good right away. He needs to get some games under his belt. Yeah. All right. Uh Emeka Buka touchdowns. Set at 12 and a half. Okay. So in 2021, Garrett Wilson got exactly 12, but Chris Olave got 13. Chris Olave got exactly 12 in 2019. Um, so no one got it that year. Last year, Marvin Harrison got 14 and would have been the only one to go over. Uh, the, the, the 12 and a half feels like a high mark. Uh, especially for the second wide receiver on the team, I'm going to go under. Yep, same here. Uh, same reasons as what I mentioned in the previous one. Heavy, heavy dose running this year. Uh, I, th I think the I think the touchdowns um, are going to be lower on the on the passing side compared to what we've seen in previous years. All right. Um, Tommy Pickles. I think they can tighten. Awesome. I think they can tighten down on Marv close to the end zone all they want. I don't think it matters. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Tommy Pickles Eichenberg total tackles 122 and a half under. All right, Kyle, fo follow me on this one. Tommy Eichenberg in uh, 2021. Remember when I said I tried to put 2021 20 on top, and but uh, I definitely didn't do it this time, Kyle. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me just, okay, there we, there we go. I fixed it. Um, Tommy Eichenberg got 64 tackles in 2021. He got 120 tackles in 2022, this time leading the team. So if this trend continues, he should have 240 tackles. Yeah. That's how that works, right? That's how math works. It, 
It's exactly how it works, Jared. You say 122 isn't a lot, Austin, um, but it's more than anyone on the Ohio State defense. It would you 122 makes you the leading tackler on the defense the last two years. I mean, he missed it. Yeah, he only missed it by two last year. He he got 120 last year. Um, I'm going to go under, and I say that um, I say that because I mostly think that the defense is going to be overall more competent, and when the defense is overall more competent, the tackles tend to disperse more evenly. Does that make sense? Am I making sense? Yeah. Yeah. To me, to me, it does. But Austin says under is fair, but it'll be close. I agree. I I still think he breaks 100. I still think he leads the tackle or leads the team in tackles. When was the last when's the last time a you know, Ohio State player had over 122 tackles? Uh, you're going to you're going to you know the answer. Why don't you just tell us? I do. I do. I, I want you to guess, Jared. Um, I'm going to go with Vrabel. No, it wouldn't have been Vrabel. Um, at DE? No way. AJ Hawk might be a plausible answer. I still want to say it's more recent than that, though. Um, Jerome Baker? No, more, more recent than that. More, More recent, recent than, than Jerome that. Baker? Um, maybe. Oh. More, oh um, you, you were saying more recent than Hawk. Yeah, more recent than Hawk, yeah. Uh, 2014. Lee? Joshua Perry. Joshua Perry. 124 tackles. And then in 2013, Shazier with 144 tackles. Hazier was a beast. God, he I was. I, I, I want to live in the alternate universe where I get to see a full career out of him uh, in the pros, mm -hmm. that is. Yeah. Perry All might right, be the um, most underrated Buckeye ever. I mean, ever is a strong word, but in recent years, he's... He's in, the yeah, he's in the conversation. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Um, total points per game for the year set at 42.2, which the last two years was 44.2 and 45.7. So Austin's essentially saying a, a, a little bit of a downturn, just a little tiny you know, bit of a downturn. And I would agree with, and I would agree with that. And I, yeah, I, do I too. will. Oof, that's a, that's a great number. And it, I, it is a good I'm number. Gonna, I'm going to go, I'm going to go under with this one as well, but not by much, not by much. Maybe, maybe at 41, 40, something like that. <laughs> that's a good number sighting, <laughs> but yeah, not by much here. I'll, I'll say under 42.2 for the year. Yeah, and I, I say this because I think Kyle's right. I think they're going to maybe try and run the ball a little bit more this year just to prove that they can. I also think that the offensive line, as as we expect it to look, will be a better run-blocking offensive line than it will be a pass-blocking offensive line, which is different than what we've seen the past few years out of Ohio State. Um, there might be – I think the defense will play better, so they won't have to score as much. Um, uh, I think the offense takes a bit of a downturn uh, again, because I don't expect Kyle McCord to be all that great through the first three ish games. I think it'll take him three or so games to sort of warm into the season. And I think it'll take, I think the defense will play better. And I think there'll be a stronger run focus this year. All, all of these things leading to more game clock being eaten up and probably a slight downturn in overall offensive production. Mm -hmm. So yep, I'll, I'll also go under, but it's probably, it's legitimately probably like 39, 40, like not much. As long as he's ready by Notre Dame. I, I yep. agree.
And by the way, that's another reason why I think he won't look great. I don't I don't think he'll look tremendous through the first three games. I don't think they're going to give him the full playbook to play with. Maybe. I mean, it it is game four as well. So that's what I'm saying. I, I, I think they have a very I think they run through a pretty limited playbook the first three weeks. OK. All right. Uh, next up here, we have total number of sex interceptions and tackles for Sony Styles at sixty seven and a half. Sonny Styles, this is this is a weird thing to attempt to ta- uh, calculate. Sacks plus interceptions plus tackles. Um, sixty seven. Uh, if we're if we're just talking pure tackles here for a second, sixty seven would make him the second leading tackler on the twenty twenty one team, and the fourth leading tackler on the 2022 team. Yeah, it's as as someone who will get to see the the field more as the season goes along. Yeah. I, he he would have to be starting and getting the vast majority of snaps all throughout the year. So I will, I'm going to say under. Uh, He, at what position is he a starter though? At what position? The nickel safety. Does does nickel say okay? So did at what point did I say McAllister was leading in tackles? Because I don't think it did. It's not as the nickel safety. If you're saying strong safety, if you're saying Jack, mm-hmm. yeah, that's a little different. Your 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 two linebackers. Your strong safety, your jack, those are the guys who are going to get most of the tackles. But hey, I mean, if if he is going to have similar stats to like what McAllister had, that's a that's a that's a three interception season there for <laughs> for Sony Styles. But McAllister isn't Sonny. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. I hope the number goes over so I can give you, give you a fuck you at the end of this. I listen. I hope I'm wrong too. I hope he gets all of those numbers and I hope he gets them all in the interception category. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Uh, Next up here, total team points allowed per game at 19.4. I would love, Uh, I would love to see under 20. It was 21 last year. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, And I believe I don't, I didn't, I didn't put it in the notes. I think it was like 24 the year before that. Um, I I think they can improve by two points. I'll I'll take the under. I think this, I think it'll be, yeah, uh, yeah, I think this team will be that much better this year. Yes. I agree. This, I will finally take the over on, on, uh, on Austin's over unders here. So yeah, I'll go, I'll go over on this one here. It's, I said under. Yeah, we're we're, under. we're flipping it. It's a bit flipped mm-hmm. because the positive is actually the under this time. Agreed. Yeah. Okay. I see. I see. I'm still. I'm still gonna go over. Still, okay. Jared. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm still going over. <laughs> so, how many points, Kyle? How many points per game do you think? Ohio State's going to give up this year, just so we know we're all on the same page right now. Uh, I'm going to say it's going to be 19.9. Okay. So so it is, in fact, over. Yes. Okay. That is still a good season. Yes. I, under, anything under 20 is totally acceptable. Um, uh, Steel, Chambers, Steel Chambers interceptions over under three and a half. Uh, Steel Chambers had two last year. Mm -hmm. He had one the year before that. So if we're following the trend, he's only going to have three this year under. Yes. (laughs) Yeah, I agree. I'm going to go under it. Even even as a joking, even as a joke, that was a a, a joking way to get to that answer. But also actually, though, still under. Yeah, it's. It's very tough. You don't see it often where you have um, 
where you have somebody who has three or more interceptions. It does not happen that often. Uh, I think the only the only you have to go back to what is this twenty seventeen when you had someone with more than three interception, and that was Damon Webb. Yeah, yeah, that makes back sense. Back in twenty seventeen. And then, um, and then Malik Hooker had that stellar year in, in 2016 where he had, we had seven interceptions and three of those went for, um, went for, uh, pick sixes. He, he, he was our best offensive weapon that year. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, it's true. <laughs> yeah. All right, moving on. <laughs> Let's move on, Jared. Games where Ohio State wins by 15 or more points. And he has here seven and a half games. All right. Uh, winning by 15 or more. Uh, would have happened one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, seven, seven times last Eight. year. One, seven. two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yep, seven times. Yep. Seven times last year. So that's uh, assuming where the number comes from. Year before that, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times. Kyle, Ooh, I, I, I think a- we have a I think we have another I think we have another uh that's a pretty good number alert. Because <laughs> that is a pretty good number. Um, and looking at their games this year, I can see one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to go under here. Yeah, but the defense. But also maybe more clock management, which would lead to less of that happening. Better defense might lead to more of that happening. Let's call it a wash. Let's say it happens exactly seven times uh, and and go under. All right. Players with a rushing touchdown at seven and a half. So need eight players with a rushing touchdown. That's a very high number. Um, One, two, three, four, five, six, seven last year. Oh, I'm I'm sorting the wrong one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, you're right. Seven last year. Last year was such an anomaly, though. Seven, mm, but the quarterback yes. will get one. Uh, but but even then, last year was such an anomaly, Austin. Because if you look at the year before that, it's literally five guys. There's burgers. There's fries. There's only five guys. I I, I got I got there first, Austin. The. Ohio State does not go deep into their running back bench. Well, you do have to type. That's fair. You have to go back to 2016 when the last time that happened. And of course, you had a quarterback that ran. Mm -hmm. And then you had you had multiple receivers who did who was able to do the um, the sweeps as well, which then counted as a running play. Sure. Um. In 2021, uh, Garrett Wilson got one of the touchdowns. So it's mm-hmm. in 2022, Emeka Buka got one of them. Um, Xavier Johnson got one, but I think he was playing running back at that. It, it, I think it yes. when he got that. Yeah. Um, yep. it, it just it feels like a high number. I'm going to go under. Yeah, I agree. I I think so, too. Especially since you're not going to have a quarterback scoring the touchdown. That's going to make it that much more difficult. All right, Kyle, we are we are over 24 minutes in and only 10 questions down. We have to move uh, faster. All right, we'll do players who will take a snap at right or left tackle in meaningful playing time at three and a half under. So you're saying, yeah, I'm going to go under as well. So you pretty much that, saying that's, that that's a huge failure. You're going to have new. 
I'm going. No, no, you. I'm just saying that's a huge failure if that happens. That's that's all I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So you're pretty much saying that, yeah, they're, you're you're playing musical chairs on the tackles, and you do not want that to happen. Or injuries. So. Well, yeah, yeah, musical chairs via injury. Um, guys out there, the first three games, if they're if they don't know who the starting tackles are halfway through camp, it's a failure. Let alone through through the actual season. Yep. All right. Uh, JT Tui Milau. Tui Milau. Sacks at 10 and a half. Big you number. It's a big I'm gonna go number. Over. I'm going to go over. I'm, I'm going to go. I, I'm I, th- go I think under. this is this is J. I think this is JT's year. I'm, I'm going to go over for him. I think he's going to have a monster this year. Is, here. This is not meant to be an insult to JT at all. But I think Jack Sawyer is also going to get some sacks this year. Williams is also going to get some sacks this year. Mike Hall is also going to get some sacks this year. Um, like, I feel like it's going to be a competition to get sacks at times this year. But but if you're going to concentrate on JT, then you got Hamilton, you got Mike Hall, and then you mentioned Sawyer. That's my and then the point. other And then the other linebackers as well trying to come in and make a play yeah. too like you can't really my focus case. on just jt they're 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 gonna have to one-on-one jt in order to block everybody else so i i think jt is gonna have a monster year right but those other guys are might just might just he jt might be in perfect position to get a sack mm-hmm. but sawyer or mike hall just might get there first is my point okay all right, that's your opinion. Esquire says, I'm going under, but I think there's a few guys between six and nine. First, nice. Second, nice. I agree. All right, so you're going under. Yes. Okay, all right, moving on, Jared. Team field goal percentage at 88 and a half. 95 uh, and 85 the past two years. Uh, I'll go. I'll go over. I'll go over on this one. Yeah, I'll go over. All right. Evan Pryor scrimmage yards, 431 and a half yards. This one's tough because I really, really want him to stay healthy. And if he stays healthy, you bet the mortgage on this one. You take the over. Here's my problem. (laughs) Top five wide receivers in 2019, no running backs. Top five wide receivers in 2021, Henderson at at, at 350 at uh, 312. But Henderson legitimately like the starter. And no running backs in the top receiving in 2022. Uh, I don't think he's going to get to to that yardage with the majority of it being rushing yards. I think one that it's a good number uh, Two, I'm going to say just slightly under just slightly under. You know what to do, chat. You know what to do. Oh, they're already they're already doing it. They, 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 right. They've been doing it, Kyle. They've been doing it. <clears throat> All right, uh, Dallin Hayden carries at 22 and a half. The only way he's going to get 22 and a half here is if Ohio State is blowing teams out. And, and maybe maybe in Youngstown State, he uh, he may get almost those 22 <laughs> carries in that game. Uh, I, I'm going to go under here just because, again, if if Evan Pryor stays healthy, He's going to get those snaps in um, in the blowout games. Uh, 22 might be a 22 is a great number. I'm trying to win Austin back. 22 is a great number. Um, (laughs) Because even if you if you look at like 2022, such an anomaly season with running backs. 2021, Henderson 183. Williams 71, Teague 67, Crowley 20, Evan Pryor 21. Like he just bare he just barely missed it the last season he was healthy. 
I'm going to go over. All right. All right. Ohio State final college football playoff rankings at three and a half. Well, if you listen to a couple By the way, of when I said ago, he just missed it, what I what I mean is like the fourth running back just missed it. Just so we're clear. Okay. So he, you're going he didn't over? he didn't play it. No, I'm just saying he didn't play in 2021 when I said mm-hmm. he almost got that in 2021. I mean he being not Hayden, he being the fourth running back. Okay. So was that an over then? Yeah, I'm still going with over. Okay. All right. Ohio State final college college football exactly, Austin. playoff rankings at three and a half. Just, now, just for, clar- to me- for clarity, Austin, we're talking about the football rankings and not what happens in the playoff, correct? Correct. Yeah. Oh. Indeed. Okay. Um, I'm going to say, man. It's. I think it's over. Well, while, while Jared's while Jared's thinking, I'm going to go over. I think, I think yeah. Ohio State does get in with, with um, one or multiple losses here. So I'm I'm going to go over here. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna I'm gonna say. No, I'm gonna say under. All right. I'm gonna say under. I, I think. T- I think they lose one, but I think they lose one close, and I think it's their only loss. Mm-hmm. Carnell Tate and Brandon Innes combined touchdowns at two and a half. Oof. I would love. I love to see the low... over. I would, it, it, it is. It is. I would love to see to see this be over here, but I mean. You only need one of them to get two touchdowns and the other gets one here. So, and if you're looking last year, you had one, two, three, four, only five players that had, um, that had, um, in the receiving core that had more than two or more touchdowns here. So you're saying with their current roster and then add in, uh, Tate and Ennis to get multiple touchdowns. That's that's tough, but you know I'll I'll still take the over. I'll still take the over because I think they'll somehow get on the field at some point in the season. Yeah, it's it's tough. I think I'm gonna go. God, I wish it was one and a half. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I really wish it was one and a half. Um, I'm gonna go over, but I think it's legitimately like three. Like I think it, I think it's a pretty perfect number. All right, starting quarterback. Uh, or, let me let me rephrase this. Uh, oh, I okay. Starting quarterback pass yardage. Uh, Kyle McCord. Uh, over under forty one hundred and nine point five. Under. Yep, I'm going under here. Uh, be, if, you, if you if you legitimately if you legitimately look at like quarterbacks under Ryan Day, which have been the best quarter, and I'm including offensive coordinator Ryan Day when I say that, some of the best quarterback performances you've seen, you've only seen someone go over four thousand yards twice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and uh, I, uh, I think if McCord comes back, he'll do it next year. This year will be tough, so I'm gonna go under. Mine Williams rushing yards, 682.5. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go under. Um, he only got over, he barely got, well, I mean, he's over a hundred, what, about 150 yards over that. Um, mm-hmm. the last year when he was the lead carrier, um, and if Henderson stays healthy and if Evan Pryor stays healthy, I don't think Williams is the is the lead carrier. So um, I'm going I'm to go under. Yeah, I'm going to go under, too. You got if you have a healthy running back group. He's not he's not going to get that many yardage. 
Ohio State turnover margin at nine and a half. Nine uh, and a half, where the previous years was eight and nine. Yeah. Um, you have a veteran wide receiver group, which will help. You have a young, well, an inexperience, not young, but inexperienced quarterback. That'll hurt. Uh, I think you'll have a defense. Questionable, questionable offensive line as well. Questionable offensive line, which will hurt. But I also think this will, you have a defense going into the second year in this system, a secondary that I've never felt better about. I, I remember the last time I felt this good about a secondary at Ohio State. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go over. I think, I think it's like, I think it's like 12. I think 12 is the number. You have to bank on the defense getting more. I think so. Yeah, I, I think so. Okay. Yeah, and I'm yeah, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go under. I'm gonna go under this year. It just with an inexperienced quarterback and an iffy offensive line, I just worry that may put into positions where he has to make plays and could cause turnovers there i just yeah yeah i i think nine and a half is a too big of a number yeah i mean i'm i'm banking more on the defense creating them uh i think i think there'll just be more turnovers period both given up and taken that's fair all right we got stover touchdowns uh at six and a half so so Austin is saying that this is going to be the year of the tight end with six and a half touchdowns. He got five last year. Jeremy mm -hmm. Ruckert as the starting tight end got three the year previous. Um, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't see him increasing his touchdowns by two. Um, I, I think there'll be, I think they'll rotate the tight ends a little bit deeper this year. I I, I don't know if Stover gets as many snaps this year as he got last year. Um, so I'm gonna go under. But Jared, man, I. <laughs> but Jared, I'm it's going always back it's always year of the tight end, Austin. It's always year of the tight end. I'm I'm going back, and I still cannot find Jared a. Tight go, end with to Ricky seven Dudley. or more. Ricky Dudley. I bet. I bet you have to go back to Ricky Dudley. Stony did it. Oh, I think Stony did do it. I think he had like ten. Would that have been Tress's last year, or would that have been the forgotten season? He had three of the first game. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Yeah, I think I think you I think Tress was still there. Stoneburner in 2012 had four. So if I go back to 2011, he had seven. OK. He had seven in 2011, which led all receivers in touchdowns yeah. that year. Woof. All of this makes sense. Uh, right. we're, so we're going under, right? I'm going we are under, going yeah. under. All right. All right. Igmanosin and Burke interceptions at seven and a half. This from what I've seen from Igmanosin so far and what I know of Burke, you know, Jared, screw it. I'm going over. I'm going over here. Um, in my opinion, I, I think you'll see more of the turnovers created by the safeties and the linebackers. I, I think that the cornerbacks are going to have their dudes sort of locked down. And if the ball is sent in that direction, it's probably the safety coming over in relief. Who's actually going to get it. I think in most cases, um, if you look at the interceptions, the past few years, um, McAllister, had the most at three. Okay. Um, 
if uh, after that chambers jt eichenberg hickman linebacker defensive end linebacker safety that's last year uh year before that hickman safety watts safety chambers linebacker eichenberg linebacker and then brown got one and then martinez got one um mm -hmm. i i just i think it'll be welcome kabuto i think it'll be mostly the under i think it'll mostly be the underneath and over guys and not necessarily the man up guys that get the uh interceptions okay all right fair enough so jerry's taking under i'm taking the over here sloop cat kabuto did you right, up? here we go he did i just saw i just saw it just come through now nice all right there um, he is on, jared let's 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 move a little quicker here so ohio state total forced fumbles on the season at 11 and a half i'm going back a few years here jared yeah and yeah ohio state does a pretty good job at the force forcing the um forcing the fumbles here and i'm going to go back to like the year of uh 2019 when chase young had that tremendous yeah. year 16 and a half sacks seven forced fumbles just on him alone yeah and i'm and i'm predicting jt tuimalau getting um 10 and a half sacks this year yeah I, I'm, I'm going to take the over on this one yeah, I think the important thing, as Austin pointed out, so yeah, uh, specifically force not recovered. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, that if it was recovered, I'd say under at forced, I'll say over. OK, Jared's going over as well for forced. Ohio State sacks allowed at 18 and a half. Yeah, um, uh, I. I hate to say this, but I think it's going to be over. I think it's going to be over here. I'm going to say under. I, I think Ryan Day and crew are smart enough, even if the offensive line isn't what it needs to be. I think I think Ryan Day and crew are smart enough to like not get McCord killed. So if that means keeping in extra blockers, if that means throwing the ball quickly. What did we give up last year? 12, 17 or 17, oh, I'm sorry. 12, 12 and 17, yeah, 12. I, I forget yeah. which year is which year. Yeah, 12 last year, 17 the previous. Yeah, correct. Or in 20, uh, yeah, 2011, 2021. All right. Uh, hey, Austin, can Ohio you, State. Do you have permissions to promote him? Uh, you might. All right. Uh, next one here, Jared. Ohio State games without an offensive turnover at four and a half. Um, under again, I think, oh, okay. It just hasn't updated on my screen yet. That's fine then. Uh, yeah. Um, under, I'm going to say under, I think there'll just be more turnovers this year. Good and bad. Both, both saying giving. Over? Yeah. I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. No, I'm, I, say I, I'm saying, too, un, no, I'm saying under or you're saying games under. without under yeah okay yeah i'm gonna go under i'll go under as well too i just that's five games so about half of the season here to not have an offensive turnover yeah i'll go, I'll go under travion henderson rushing touchdown or i was rushing yardage at 14 49 and a half 14 49 and a half um, if he can, if he's healthy this year, um, yeah, if he, yeah, definitely could be over if it's, it's just, I, if he's healthy, if Ryan day, if he's healthy and Ryan day wants him to, he will. Um, what I don't know is how much running back by committee they'll be this year. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to say over, but I don't feel great about it. 
I think it's a good number. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, I th- yeah, I agree. I think I'm going to go over as well, too, especially looking at historically of how running backs have gotten the ball. It's 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 always a in kind of an off year. Then the next year, there's somebody who comes up and does really well. Then it's an off year. Then maybe you have two years in a row with the same court with the same running back that does really well. I'm looking at you uh, at Zeke there. So I'm I, I think this is the year we're, we're going to see we're going to see Travion get like sixteen hundred yards or so. Xavier Johnson touchdowns at three and a half. Feels like a lot. Um, are these specifically scrimmage or are we? Uh, I'm a f- special team. Well, last last year he had three. I know. Last year he had three. He had he had three on a team that dealt with injuries all year. Um, Very true. I, I think that's why he got as much attention as he did. Yeah. I'm going to go I'm going to go under as much as I want to say on over. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Oh boy. Poor Kyle. <sighs> Kickoff or punt you're, returns you're, you're, for a touchdown. You're killing over me. Under you're, set you're killing me, Austin. Point 5. You're killing me, Austin. Listen, the kick return, the kick returns over. It's not a thing anymore. Yeah. Um, the only the only thing that's going to happen is punts, the a punt return. Listen, I'm gonna I'm gonna say over, simply because it only takes one play to hit on this. That that that's the entire reason. No block punts don't count. No, it has to be. Well, a block. It's a return. Punt- it's a return. We have a new rule. No, no, we're talking about returns here. <laughs> well, tech, tech, talking about returns. Technically, a a blocked punt or field goal would count as long as it passes the line of scrimmage. Then it's a return. Punts aren't returned. Punts aren't returned for, for touchdowns. For <laughs> <sighs> yeah, I'm it's... going over. <sighs> Ye of little I'm, I'm, going, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going under until until Ted Ginn Jr. is back on the lineup here. <laughs> like it's it's under one day, one Kyle, day, one day. Yeah, one day. The server will crash the server when it happens. Mm-hmm. Kyle, your phone oh, yeah. will melt with everyone tagging you. <laughs> yes. And I hope and I hope so. Mike Hall sacks <laughs> for the year. Six and a half. Over. Jared expects a big year from from big old Mike Hall Jr. He was dominant through September before he got banged up and it slowed him down. He had such a I I don't know if people actually remember how dominant he was in September of last year when he Mm -hmm. was healthy. He was. No, he he definitely was. Yeah, it's an excellent. I'm going to go under. I'm going to go under. I think he gets like five or six this year. So I'm, that's fair. Getting 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 seven as a defensive tackle is is amazing. It's pretty good. It's pretty it good. Is. It is. It's amazing. He could do it. Defensive touch. Ohio State defensive touchdowns for the year. Two and a half. Now, if we're going to go back here. Oh, but last year. Going to go back. Last gonna year. Go way, way back. Last year, Keep talking Kyle, ignore me. Okay, Keep last talking, year Kyle, it was three. Me. It was three last year. Okay, twenty twenty one was six. Okay, heck, even in twenty twenty with a shortened year, they had three. Okay, twenty nineteen was just one, and then twenty eighteen was four. I'm going to take the over, Jared. I agree. You you convinced me. All right, and last one here, we have Ohio State starting quarterback total touchdowns at 37 and a half. Now, we, we talked about this uh, again a couple of episodes ago about the second uh, to last one. It was, yeah, it was the one where we were on uh, Bleacher Report talking about 
talking about expectations and we talked about Kyle McCord and our expectations for 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 him this year and we looked at that every first year first time starting quarterbacks at Ohio State CJ uh, Fields Haskins and Barrett um yeah it's it's a it's a very high expectation for right. for Kyle McCord to come in and and try to do as well as what all these quarterbacks did and I think he's going to have he's going to have I want to say similar numbers to kind of like what Justin Fields had his first year uh, about like maybe about 3,000 to 3,300 yards for the season maybe about 40 touchdowns for the year so I'm, 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 I'll go over on that one but, uh, but to try to get to like 45 like what CJ Stroud did and don't don't even get me about trying to do what Haskins did with 50 no. just no I'm going to I'm going to go over um I think Kyle's right I think I think Justin Fields' 2019 season is I think if he can do that and if the offensive line allows him to, if the offensive line allows Kyle McCord to throw for 3,300 yards and 41 touchdowns, only three interceptions, uh, 67% completion percentage, which is a step down from what CJ Stroud did, just so we're clear. Um, if if Justin Fields can do that, or excuse me, if Kyle McCord can do what Justin Fields did in Justin Fields' first year, I think Ohio State has a legit shot at winning the Natty. With if my expectations for their defensive improvement is is realized, I think they can win the Natty with that performance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even if, yeah, ag agreed. Fields going 41 touchdowns and three interceptions. <laughs> God, that would be amazing. Um, Dale enters chat. Uh, starts for Tristan or Lincoln. Uh, under. Under. Okay. Right, we have one more ceremonial bonus. I said 31 plus one. We have one additional yeah. question. Sure. As is tradition, right? As is tradition. Yeah, the Haskins season is still, if you look at a single season performance, and I'm not saying a performance by a single season quarterback, I am saying a single season performance. He far and away best Buckeye quarterback season of all time. It's just not even close. Hands down. Yeah. I mean, what I mean, what Justin Fields did his first year was amazing as well, too. He had almost as many total touchdowns as Haskins did, but Haskins almost 5,000 passing yards. That is just ridiculous. By the way, Colin Cowherd, go fuck yourself. Um, Kyle, we have one more question. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I, I totally forgot what you meant. Yes, yes. Yeah. If you don't know, All right. Google it. Yeah. All right. And the last one here, Jared. And everybody can follow along here with this one. The amount, amount of dams we give for the whole state of Michigan. Over under at point nine, nine, nine repeating. Kyle, I'm going to smash the under. Bet the mortgage. Bet the mortgage on the under. <laughs> I give no dams. All right, Kyle, that's the show. Do you have anything in Kyle's corner? Uh, <laughs> good question. Um, actually, we had a couple of uh, black stripes. We love talk. We love talking right. about black stripes right. on, on this uh, right. on this show here. And we have. 
I'm just making sure I'm seeing right. All right. So the first one I have here is actually a pair of offensive linemen. We have a uh, Jimmy Simons. And we have uh, we have Victor Cutler. Those are your two uh, trans. It's Simmons, Jimmy Simmons. His is he actually by by the way he actually goes by Jimmy. I, I know that's not the name he was brought in under. I know who they are. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but those are the two transfer offensive linemen who came in. Um, I fully expect Simmons to start at right tackle. That is my expectation. Um, I think Cutler will be a valuable uh, backup. Uh, mm -hmm. Like a very important, valuable backup. Josh James, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jim Simmons. <laughs> <laughs> I, I i can i can only think of the uh, lebron james meme with the cigarette in his mouth if you yeah if to you, talk about uh vic though uh they did talk recently about how um about how he was really taking advantage of ohio state's uh, nutrition and strength resources and has just had a total overhaul in his body too he just looks completely different than when he first came on the campus it's a good sign. I mean, just like the, the fact that if Ryan Day is taking time during the press conference to talk about you, it's it's a good sign. It is. Absolutely. <laughs> Josh James, Jimmy, Jim Simmons, doesn't matter. Buckeyes by 40. Exactly. <laughs> <sighs> All right. I, I think that's I think that's it here, Jared. I. I think I think we'll we'll end it there as we are coming up on our hour mark here. All right, we're actually going to stay under uh, the hour this week, maybe. Take if the I, under, if, if <laughs> yeah, take the under on the hour. <laughs> Honestly, it all just depends upon how quickly I announce the band, and if, and I'm saying if, and I'm saying if, Jared's wasting time. <laughs> Shut up, Kyle. That's the Jared. joke. That's the joke, Kyle. Stop giving away the joke. Sweet, sweet YouTube. No, I'm not going to try and sneak one in at the hour mark. I, that that would make me a dick. Um, any music suggestions in the chat? We have a full room. We have a full room. Any music suggestions in the? Only funny if you explain it. Yeah, exactly. Any music suggestions in the chat? Oh, that would <laughs> mark of making you a dick. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, music suggestions. I mean, Jerry, we go tried and true. I want to try and mix it up a little bit. I want to try and mix it up a little bit. Um, let's go uh, with a band called Old Hundred. Go with the band called Old Hundred. Uh, it's a number. Feels fitting. So with uh, all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once again, this is Old Hundred. <laughs>